It's time for a change in music. You've heard all the pop songs. You've seen the Britney Spearses and the Justin Timberlakes of the world come and go. And now you're finally ready for something different. Well, my friends, if you're listening to this right now, you have found it. The Jason Bourne of radio, with a variety of styles and genres. A mixture of tracks in one place that is so diversified, you will never hear it anywhere else. The reason you won't is because if you tell anyone about this program, you will be hunted down and disposed of. Top secret sounds only on Spreaker.com. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm a prophet the rap, consider any beat blessed when I hop on the track. Hip hop Messiah got its cross on my back. The rap game needs a savior, and whose fault is that? All these MCs who don't write for the love of it, the garbage on the radio, I can't even stomach it to me. It's cruel and unusual punishment. All this bling bling talk, I think we've had enough of it. News flash. We don't care about your Benjamins, how you make it rain in the way that you're spending them. Most of us are just praying the recession ends, working 9 to 5 every day just to pay the rent. So the last thing that we want to listen to is about your drop top sitting on 22s. The crystal that you're sipping in your swimming pools. If you think we care, then we really need to get a clue. Your G5 jets, nobody cares. Diamonds on your neck, nobody cares. Zeros in your checks, nobody cares. That's why rappers fade away like smoke in the air. Cars that you drive, nobody cares. Houses that you buy, nobody cares. Catch me being flashy with my currency Talking about jewelry over a commercial beat I'd rather get a double hand removal surgery Than while in recovery beg the nurse to murder me So it's safe to say that will never happen I'm outside the box and I'll never get trapped in I don't care about the lights, camera, action Rolex watches and overpriced mansions I keep my lyricism filled with intelligence If I didn't, people would say, what the hell is this? I thought upwards had meaning in his messages and I'm proud cause that's where the connection is I'd rather sink than float with the mainstream Where every rapper just talks about the same thing A wake up call is exactly what the game needs And I can care less if this track makes them hate me Your G5 jets, nobody cares Diamonds on your neck, nobody cares Zeros in your checks, nobody cares That's why rappers fade away like smoke in the air Cars that you drive, nobody cares Houses that you buy Nobody cares One more time Nobody cares
information is the oral equivalent of a glass enema. The names of the DJs on these particular programs have been changed to protect the stupid and is loosely based on a sort of kind of but not really true story about people who may or may not exist. Thank you and stay safe, Spurgers. Last time on the Witness Protection Program. Big money! <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to the Witness Protection Program. I am your hobbyist, Billy Mofford, and with me is the infamous Pimp Vader. Or Pimp Vader is next to Joe. I don't know. I, I get confused which way he goes with it. <laughs> Shut up, Bobby. you so much. Yeah, he knows that's not true. That is. I listen. I look at him in his black suit. Okay. I just get turned on. You never know what's under that thing. You know what I mean? That's the same part. Big fucking cock. <laughs> and now, your two number one hobbyists, Billy Malford and Angry Bong. Hello, America, Mexico, and remote parts of Canada. This is Ron Burgundy reporting for ESPN, or ESPN, as it's known in the biz. My guest today is none other than future Hall of Fame quarterback Peyton Manning. Peyton, can you hear me? I sure can, Ron, and uh, it's an honor to be talking to you. Peyton, can you hear me? Yes, Ron, I can, uh, very clearly. Can you hear me, Ron? Yes, loud and clear. Can you hear me? What do you think? Uh, I think yes, you can hear me. I just want to make sure it's you, Peyton. I remember once before the, the 1978 Holiday Bowl, I thought I was interviewing the great Phil McConkey, and instead I was talking to the backup kicker. I felt like a fool. And the boys at the station had quite a laugh at my expense, so I'm just, just making sure. <laughs> I actually remember that game, Ron. I think Navy uh, squeaked one out at the old Murph. I was uh, two years old. Hell of, hell of a game. Hell of a battle. Peyton, <laughs> Peyton here's yes. something I've, I've got to ask you right out of the gate. Uh, you are one of the great quarterbacks playing the game today. You've had a lot of success, and yet you've done it all without a mustache. You're running around out there, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, you look like a succulent baby lamb, okay? And let's face it, all the great NFL quarterbacks have had mustaches. Joe Namath, Jeff Hotstetler, uh, Jeff George, uh, Randell C Cunningham, uh, Mark Molone, uh, Colt McCoy, Burt Reynolds, the guy from Barney Miller, Mike Farrell from MASH. The list goes on and on. Barney Miller. Um, well, first off, Ron, uh, some of those guys weren't quarterbacks, uh, as far as I know, and I guess to tell you the truth, I never had much of a desire to grow any facial hair. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I managed to play quarterback okay without a mustache. Eli tried to grow one a while back without much success, I have to say. Oh, I, I saw that. It did not look good. It looked like his upper lip was caked in a mixture of liquid dog crap and cocaine. <laughs> Easy, Ron. Uh, yeah, that's my brother. Um, I do agree, though. It wasn't, it wasn't very well groomed. Sorry. Sorry, yes, I didn't mean to get that graphic. You've played against some tremendous defensive players over the years, and I have to ask you, what's it like getting sacked by Merlin Olsen? Merlin Olsen? Yes. Ron, I'm pretty sure I was four years old when Merlin Olsen retired. Maybe, maybe not. Um, regardless, I was actually thinking about the time Merlin tackled me at his bungalow in Burbank. What a night. You know, you know, Merlin and I were very close. I think I did read that somewhere. Yes, I miss him. So you play in Denver for the Broncos at Mile High Stadium. Correct. Tell me about your relationship with uh, Thunder. 
our mascot, yes. Thunder. Yes. Um, you're talking. You're talking about the horse that runs up and down the field every time the Broncos score. Oh yes, I've had my eye on that wonderful beast for decades. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. I didn't, uh, Ron, I, I didn't really picture you as a guy who played the ponies. Well, indeed I do. I got to tell you, Ron, uh, I wasn't really prepared for this interview to go in this direction. Uh, Speaking of preparation, I understand little... that uh, that is one of your calling cards, preparation, that is, uh, recognizing coverages, making calls at the line of scrimmage. You're actually right, Ron. Um, I firmly believe that uh, preparation is a huge part of my game, really all quarterbacks, and I certainly think it gives me an advantage on Sundays. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, I know. I played a little in my day. San Diego, San Diego State, scout team quarterback. I used to yell, uh, check off, all the time. Check off. No clue what it meant, but when I saw someone on that defense move, I just yelled, check off, check off. Is that pretty much what you do? It's not exactly what I do, uh -huh. but you're, you're somewhere on the right track, Ron. You're close to being on the right track. Peyton, let me ask you this. Do you ever just yell things to throw the defense off, things that make no sense? Absolutely, all the time. Can you give me an example? Well, Ron, sometimes I'll just yell underpants over and over mm -hmm. again. Or maybe mm -hmm. I'll change it up with oven mitt, maybe oven mitt. Okay. Have you ever yelled biscuits and gravy? Biscuits and gravy is probably one of our best plays. Hmm. Uh, I've yelled Magic Man. Uh, I've yelled Baby Got Back. And, and the defense is just terribly confused at this point. Absolutely. They're horribly confused. But my offense is as well because it's, it's good to keep your own offensive players on their toes. Bingo. And that's why Peyton Manning is the best in the biz. Peyton, before I let you go, a lot of attention has been given to you and your two brothers, uh, Eli. Uh, is it Eli or Ellie? <laughs> Eli. Oh, Eli. Eli. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so a lot of attention to, your, to, to you and your brothers, Eli and Cooper. Uh, but few people know about your, the fourth Manning brother, uh, Danielle Manning who is currently playing strong safety uh, for the Texans and is African-American. Tell me a little about Danielle Manning. <laughs> well, Ron, uh, I hate to break it to you. Yeah. Um, there is not a fourth Manning brother named Danielle Manning. He is a heck of a football player. I've played against him a lot, but uh, uh, we are not related. Okay, well, good to know. And someone here at Espen in the research department is going to be fired. Uh, so, so there... So there isn't any truth to the rumor of a Manning sister, Gloria Manning, who weighed 285 pounds as a freshman in high school and ran a 4-340 and was, was frankly a better football player than all of you? Ron, how did you find out about my sister, Gloria? It's, it's what I do. <laughs> well, Peyton, that's all the time we have. I want to I thank you, uh, my guest Peyton Manning, for coming on here with me. You are a dear, dear friend. Thanks a lot, as you are as well, Don. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, well, good luck on Sunday, and uh, we'll be right back.
Where are you? <laughs> Who ate all the dump bars? <laughs> I really don't enjoy picking up your smelly socks. Now, who we got today? C3 P P P P L. No, R2D2. R2D2 again. The drug dealer droid. Hey, hey, speaking of the uh, drug, I wish I I could have prepared for this, but I think Joe's prepared anyway. He he hangs out with all them guys. I think we're talking about Star Wars. Uh, well, oh, because that would be a copyright infringement. What we're talking about is more stars. <laughs> I think you're taking it a little too far. I don't think talking about something is infringement. Uh, just a second. Uh, well, what do you think, r Oh, yeah, because he's an expert. <laughs> R2, are you there? Yeah, yeah he, he, uh, he responded. What did he say? Because I didn't hear nothing. Well, we, we actually have, uh, I think it could be a good show. I mean, we're usually at our best when we, uh, when we freestyle anyway. And, um, and, and we've got a little things up, up in the, you know, thrown out there. We've got the Star Wars topic. We've got another topic coming up when we do the uh, movie review. Um, this topic is, uh, it was interesting. I came in and they were into it. And I started getting into it immediately, talking about... Uh, Joe was stating how the what do they call the the guys in the white with the Star Wars the bad guys? Hello? Now no one's gonna feed him, you motherfuckers. What? What do they call the white people? The the people in the white. Stormtroopers. Yeah. So. You take it down a notch, there, sister. No. Listen. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm trying, you guys were just saying who they were. I mean, no, I, I'd say something, no one's saying nothing. And I don't know if you're fucking with me or you're, or you're just smoking dope. <laughs> so, Joe was saying how the stormtroopers, um, or Pip Vader was saying how his stormtroopers were, um, they weren't really that good because they lost to, like, all these people, like, they lost to the Ewoks. And that was funny, but what I was saying was, the Ewoks had help, you know. They had, they had the Jedis, and they had the big fucking Chewy guys. No, they had, they had more of them. When I watched the whole, there was a whole movie about the Wookiees. Or, or not about the Wookiees. About the, about the witch cause. It was all about the, not the Wookiees, the... The Ewoks. But the Wookiees were in it. They helped fight in the, in the Wookiees, in the, in the Ewok village. When those big fucking, what do they call Joe? Don't you got the sound of, uh, don't you have one? I mean curtain pull back. Don't you have one of those things in your room? In your studios? And those big white monster walkers. Where'd he go? <laughs> Is that you making that sound effect? I, that's, I, I have Tourette's and I do that now for no reason. But you'll die. Hey, you look like... <laughs> you can stop that's, that's uh, R2-D2. 
just he's all drunk he's 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 all <laughs> drunk and whacked out look on you with my hey, own eyes. Computer, he's all whacked out on the microphone. i don't know what he's doing i think he has to like go so i think he has to go in another room to do these sound effects <laughs> feel like he's got, feel like he's like hold on hold on body he just goes in another room he can't talk and do the sound effects. I don't know what Bo? Joe? He's doing it the mess with me. Archie Duke, he's Archie Duke. What is that? What do you think about that? <laughs> Fuck it. Now he's not talking. Did he hang up? Yeah, it is. Like George Lucas is some big genius. He just kept using the same names and reversed them for fuck's sake. Listen, that is a genius. That's ingenious. Get reversed. It's the opposite of. I love it. Except for it was totally the opposite. They went to the air. It'd be like all these little things. I, that doesn't help me spell Ewok with you backwards. That's confusing. E W O K E S. That's not right. Oh, why do I have an I in movie it's separate from the other movies. Uh, I've been sure. saying that. Okay, and the, they, they still had all that people fighting with them. Some of the vehicles floated, so that was. I this point the other day in my show. My favorite movie of all is The Empire Strikes Back. And at the start of it, they have the big snow battle. Okay? So here's the Imperial fleet, you know, the, the most powerful fucking. 
right away being being to you know uh, capable of towing never really like, you... how, how would you tow a ship that like that won't fly like most snow speeders aren't like a glider like they know we're well if they get out in there in space then uh you know, they can tow something they can tow battery have to remember that this was the, the, the first Star Wars was in like what the 60s early 70s 1977 Bobby yeah so you know like motherfucker tread lightly I'm just saying I keep your radio tuned to Shillbilly Internet Radio it's the law in 9 out of 10 civilized countries. Shh, you're listening to Top Secret Sounds. Don't tell anybody. Hey, loser. Hey. What you got in that juice box, pussy? <laughs> hey, shut up, man! It's not in my juice box. Hmm? Oh, lazy jerk beats! Yes, martinis at seven. I'm in. I grind brick dead beat to dead meat for pissing around. It's Fistaloid chap, and that's my freaking background. Alas, the lazy shit, I am thought and inspired. The sixth chapter of this rap for high. I'm here to diss the fuck out leech punks, cause they bloody suck. Yup, but a free load, and you can lash onto my nuts. How do you live with yourself, Jim? Oh yeah, you don't, cause you're broke. No, nope. you stop rent taxes and bills from your bro. Oh, it's over now. Epic Lloyd's abundance come to town. What? Listen to your brother Simon says, get the fuck up. <laughs> Fling James, Jean James, Shady Brother Jean James, how the fame James, fame James, this is lame James, calls himself Jim cause he's too lazy for James James, not working the bank but you need to make some change man, crashing on couches, no job seekers allow with you coward, go and earn some your own cash to play around with, I'm not on massive wages but I'll give you some massive poundage, the worst part about it, the silence is that you're a twin, holy shit man where to begin, you even leaked his goddamn DNA off of him, but it's okay, you must be for that's 
season to see though. Simon Schwarzenegger, you're clearly Danny DeVito. And I've heard the talk. Ten years of looking hard for jobs, but the last time you got one, Tony Blair was in office. And it's not the money, man. But folks are happy to help. Showing thanks by sitting around is how the disrespect is felt. This is the wake up call. I'm across the pond. I'm dropping balls. Don't think it's how to stick an extra S on. So what's your problem, Jim? Your brother is such a great guy. Won't say goodbye, even though the bloke can barely scrape by. And you won't even try to find a job, you sloth asshole. At least when hoes go broke, they learn to work the pole. So fight, Simon. And if you know he's got nowhere else to go, tell him to try hell. Maybe he can crash on they flow. Oh, don't act that depressed, man. Just make a move in this booch. And this dude will continue to use you when you flat to you do. But whatever you choose, you better get moving it soon. You can hear this? Living together is gonna get real awkward for you. Cheers, dude. I'm just a dumb redhead ginger. You better run. I watch your soul. I'm just a pale freckled ginger. I came from hell. My blood is cold. I have no soul. I have no soul. I watch your soul. Gingers have no friends and no one will have sex with them. They come out at night, they creep and crawl. Who does God hate most of all? Gingers. Who should have never been born? Gingers. Who's adopted? Gingers. Who belongs with floating turds in the fucking toilet bowl? Gingers. Gingers are leprechaun, evil Irish little drunks. They should all be killed at once. Kill them and collect insurance. But they're already fucking dead. Skin is white, hair is red. They like giving head to men in bed. It's gay. I'm just a drunk with a temper. Has anyone seen me lucky charms? I'm just some scum from the shitter. My hair is red. It's fucking wrong. I'm just a dog. I'm just a dog. Red hat ginger. Without a sound, steal your soul, never found Gingers, ew, orange colored pubes And by the way, don't get me started on the Jews Wait, what? I just hate all stupid gingers They all are bad, none of them are good So suck my balls, evil gingers Like Harry Top, I hate him the most I'm just a dumb, I'm just a dumb Redhead ginger You know it. The ginger gaineth a freckle for every soul he taketh. Bloods and crips act like kids. They always fighting each other, and I don't like it. I see them hating on each other, and it's sad, bro. So that's why I got a red shirt and blue pants on. Yeah. 
should be thinking about uniting. Let's be friends. Yeah. And I'll be wearing red kicks with Bluetooth socks. Bloods and Crips should all sit down and talk their problems out. There's pizza. Crips and lies. Get along. Let's just drop the guns and play basketball. Couple bitches on my turf today. I'd love to see you assholes agree. Bloods and Crips don't have to fight. I would even say it to their face, but then I would get shot. They would beat my ass up. Bloods and Crips would blast me if I tried to spread peace in the hood. But if that would unite them, cause they both don't like me, wouldn't that be good? Maybe then I should go in the City and take a bullet and win the Nobel Prize for peace. I think I would at least win some bullshit if he shit price. Cause I'ma be the corpse to finally unite the grips and bloods. Let's get along. Let's just drop the guns and play basketball. Put down the guns. Some sort of cracker. Weird Al couldn't say half the shit that I said. You call me racist on Searchlight TV. Well, first of all, I think that I am Chinese. MC Search is passed out. He blacked out laughing. Please stop asking him why he co signed my stupid ass. Jeez, lighten up, you sensitive pricks. Hey, yo, Paul Banks, your girl has seen my dick. They pay me by the click so y'all can keep on talking mad shit. Spending hours trashing my ass while I cash in. Everyone goes, yo, get out your mama's attic. Yo, would stay at home too if folks want in to blast you. I can do whatever I like, whether I'm black or whether I'm white. I run red lights, it's an old habit. I smoke crap and I let babies play with matchsticks. You ladies, start your antics, don't make me smack a bitch. I grow up China, Filipino fag. Get off the set of Home Alone, Michael Jackson. Am I black or from Iraq or Alaskan? I think my race is unknown, so stop fixing.
listening to Top Secret Sounds on Spreaker.com. What's going on? If you tell anyone about this, I'll fucking kill you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We'll come back by tonight. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Yep, this is Top Secret Sounds. Don't bother phoning us. We were never here. You didn't see anything. There's nothing left to say. I'm not with you. You lie so far away from the truth. Nothing to say, I'm not with you. Sometimes the path least traveled is the avenue. The stranger in your life, you thought you knew. How can I be yellow and still so blue? I'm blue.
I got a copy mug with my with my name right on it. In big bold letters, so everyone knows it's mine. Don't even touch it, cuz, cause it doesn't belong to you. I'm watching you, so don't be a funny. I'm coming out of the corporate ladder.
you're addicted to spuds. Might as well face it, you're addicted to spuds. Might as well face it, you're addicted to spuds. Might as well face it, you're addicted to spuds. Might as well face it, you're addicted to spuds. Might as well face it, you're addicted to spuds.
or Miss. Oh, that's Keithy. <laughs> Try for Keithy. See if he falls for it. Car crash Keithy. Here we go. Live on the radio. Hello? Hello? Bobby. Hello? Hey. Hello? What are you doing? Who this? Keithy. Keith. Yeah. Hey. Master this up and put the sound effects behind it. <laughs> I just call back later. Are, are you mad at him? Because uh, I'm waiting for that to happen. You never, you have never been mad at Joe, no matter what. Are you finally mad at him now? No, I'm not mad at him. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> oh, are you still a show belly? No, sister. no, Keithy. I said we are live on air. Not, not we're not. Oh, we are live on air. Yeah, he said that would be embarrassing. <laughs> no, we're live on air, buddy. We've been live on air. Hey, how you gonna embarrass your little retarded cousin? Oh, Keithy, you're not retarded. You're just a little slow.
buttocks cheek And then I will go walking with my little dog And then I'll bury you underneath a log Okay, welcome to the Witness Protection Program. Woohoo! Woohoo! Who am I again? You're, you're Billy Mulford. Mulford. Billy, Billy Mulford uh, here. Mulford. With, Mulford. With Mulford. Alan Fisher and Trish Carter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're all hiding. We're hiding. We're in hiding. Listen. And this is a new show that will be uh, done pretty much every day or... Oh! Or not. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? I'm hiding. I'll have to call you back. <laughs> Bye. Charlie Brown had a big black head, wore a stripy sweater every day. Tried to kick that football, but Lucy always pulled the motherfucker away. He flew a kite just to try to relax, but he always put the shit in a tree. And the little red-headed girl wouldn't give no play to poor Chuck B. They were the baddest fuckers in the funny papers. Three nuts! One, two, a security blanket, line his fan pelt would latch. Snuggled into that bitch to get warm while waiting in a pumpkin patch. Ow. He had a stalker named Sally Brown, and she always tried to get her some. Ow. She loved how he knew the meaning of Christmas and the sexy way of that thumb. Well, watch out, cause here they come. Peanuts! Oh, peanuts, crazy peanuts. A bunch of kids. Charles M. Schultz can't print Big Ben was a dusty dude Who couldn't keep his own ass clean All the teachers said Wah, 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 wah But what does that shit mean? Well, watch out Cause here they come Peanuts! But her comments always gave offense Ow. And a bitch couldn't make no money Cause she charged a motherfucker five cents Ow. You know the ladies love some Schroeder Cause they played the 80s real good Ow. And Franklin was a real cool cat But the only brother in that hood Well, watch out
Another bunch of animals. Honeybees are legendary for their hard work, so it's risky not to toe the line. This bee is searching for a sweet treat, and the sugary sap of the lime tree is just too good to miss. But this syrupy concoction soon ferments into alcohol.
And the bee's reaction to the booze is much the same as ours. Prosecution Exhibit A, flying under the influence. He's lucky to make it back to the hive at all. Landing, or more accurately, crash landing, is not a pretty sight. But bee society is rigid. They have ways of dealing with this slobbish behavior. The hive has strict security. It's not exactly hard for them to pick out the drunken worker. This guy's a repeat offender, and the guard bees furiously bite at his legs. It's natural justice, bee style. And the worst offenders don't lose their licenses, they lose their legs. But it's not just alcohol that gets animals. Pass the fucking ball. What an idiot. Fuck it. I'm going to get another beer. You guys want one? All right. Two, please. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, cool. We're all just hanging out. All right. Bye-bye. Who's that? Some chicks? No, it was my neighbor. His robot's coming over. What? Yeah, he built a robot a while ago, and the robot came out gay. Yo, we're out of Henny Buffers, so I grabbed a couple of goose heads. Okay, that's cool. Wait, so, so the robot's gay? Gay robot's coming over? Yep. Oh, dude, you gotta see this. He's insane with football stats. No way. It's open. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey, good to see you, gay robot. Gay robot in the house. Word up. What's the score, fuckers? Giants are eating shit in the third quarter. It's 24-8 Miami. Don't worry. The Giants have phenomenal fourth quarter numbers. Really? They'll come back and win by three. All right. I love it. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Who's the new guy? Oh, that's my friend, John. Hey, John. Sweet hat. Uh, thanks. Uh, what's going on? You know, just chilling. Can I suck your dick? What? No, no, no. He's okay, gay robot. <laughs> that was funny. The gay robot gets a little horny because he doesn't know any gay guys around here. Oh, I see. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you dropped that. Do something, Henderson, you fat fuck. Hey. <laughs> That was very offensive to me. Why? You're not fat. I thought you said fag. No, I wouldn't say that. I said fat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you fist fuck me, we'll be even. <laughs> no, I'm not gay, gay robot. I thought you said you were. No, you know I never said that. I know. I was just razzing you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Hey. Good times, guys. Gay, gay robots having a good time. <laughs> so how do you think the Eagles are going to do this season, gay robot? Let's find out. Says here, due to injuries and erratic weather patterns, the Eagles will finish a dismal 7-9. and nine. What? No way. Deal with it. The gay robot knows his shit, man. Now, will someone blow it on my face? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gay here but you, gay robot, so let's let's just watch some football, all right? Yeah, yeah man. Right. Look, I'm not here to bring the party down. Okay. It's just that I run on semen. Uh-uh. All right. Without it, I could die. <laughs> Please help me to live, fellas. Come Jerk on. off in my mouth immediately. <laughs> Please, my circuits are shorting. Uh -huh. I'm starting to fade already. Oh, man. Can see a light going toward it. <laughs> You're making this up, gay robot. My bad, you got me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good times, good times. Yeah. So does he eat food like us uh, human people? Uh, yeah, he can eat food. Hey, you want some tortilla chips, gay robot? Sounds great, John. Can I dip them in your ass? Oh, I'm all set, thanks. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? The reception's all fuzzy. Are you kidding me? Don't panic. I can fix it. Oh, hey, that's right. I love it. Work your robot magic. Fix that shit, buddy. Okay, here's the problem. My man, what is it? Your cock's not in my asshole. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should go home and take a cold shower, gay robot. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'll go. We'll just whack each other off and I'll bail. Mm, not gonna happen. Please. Goodbye. Fuck you. Later, <laughs> gay robot. See you, pal. Late. Oh, no. Look what happened. My robocock fell oh, out of my pants. There he goes. Oh, shit. He's got a boner. Taste it. Oh, 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 oh gay robot. Man. Oh. Later, thanks. There's a dog 
jockey in my bed, a dead hooker in my shed. There's a jet ski in the pool, so much blood inside my stool. A bird cross out in my yard, a dead fetus in a jar. Why's my date look like a dude? Why's my mugs out on the news? Black guy in my bed, and I'm pretty sure he's new. Oh yeah. My shirt says white right, but I'm pretty sure we screwed. Jesus Christ. Wild turkey nice. Yeah, I smoked a couple rocks. I jacked off with icy hot. Think I finger carrot top. Wild turkey nice. Threw up in a railroad car. Then I tapped out a retard. Made my grandma take the charge. Wild turkey nice. Beat my wife with a crowbar. Put angel dust in my cigar. Shit my pants at the Kmart. Wild Turkey nights, gave roadhead to Tim McGraw. Think he broke my fucking jaw. Oh, whoa, wild turkey nights. I black out again. Wild turkey nights. I black out again. Cubic hair is hiding us. How'd I get nailed to this cross? There's a Filipino whore, and she pissed right on my floor. There's a preacher in a dress, and he's shitting on my chest. Spent two hours in the jail, had to suck dick to get bail. Beat my first ex-wife with a big lead pipe. It's true. Oh, yeah. Got drunk with Mel Gibson, and we insulted some Jews. Whoops, wild turkey nights. I got tasered by the cops. I pooped out a Rolex watch. Kicked a nun right in the crotch. Wild turkey nights. Smoked some hash inside my car. Did ten lines off of the bar. Someone fingered my brown star. Wild turkey nights. Masturbated in the park. Killed a kid with a lawn dart. Had sex in a grocery cart. Wild turkey nights. Woke up in a push of froth. Sodomized my blow up doll. A oh, whoa, wild turkey nights. I blacked out again. Wild turkey nights. I blacked out again. Wild turkey nights. Yeah, I smoked a couple rocks. I jacked off with icy hot. Think I finger carrot top. Wild turkey nights. Grew up in a railroad car. Then I tapped out a retard. Made my grandma take the charge. Wild turkey nights. Beat my wife with a crowbar. Put angel dust in my cigar. Shit my pants at the Kmart. Wild turkey nights. Gave road head to Tim and crawl. I think he broke my fucking jaw. Oh, oh whoa. Wild turkey nights I blacked out again Wild turkey nights Shh, you're listening to Top Secret Sound Don't tell anybody Two months after meeting him on the internet You moved him in Was he paying rent? No That's a good deal He broke up with me in February of this year You're a bigger fool than I thought you were I don't know a lot of guys who want that deal. Real cases before a real judge. Now, enter the courtroom of Judge Mathis. Plaintiff Sarah Kay met the defendant online, and she claims two months after they started dating, she moved him in. Soon after, Sarah claims she realized he wasn't working and instead played video games all day. She's suing her ex for a credit card bill. Defendant Michael Ryan says a month after he moved in with Sarah, they started sleeping in separate rooms and stopped having sex. Michael claims he felt more like Sarah's roommate than her boyfriend, so he broke up with her. He's countersuing for unreturned property. Start with you. Okay. Um, so I met Michael in December of 2011 on a dating website. Um, he seemed very friendly, and so we met up for coffee. Um, Michael seemed very um, funny and lighthearted, so we got along really well at first. Um, he even seemed really open. Um, he um, told me about him not drinking, that he led me to believe he had a long term of sobriety. Um, being that my family is also recovering, um, I knew a lot about the program and about recovering individuals. Um, after he moved in about two months, um, 
of dating. Two months after meeting him, you moved yes. him in. Yes, uh, Michael. Two months after meeting him on the internet, you moved him in. Yes. Uh, Michael was very convinced that I had a roommate who couldn't pay her bi uh, rent. That was so the website name, movein.com. <laughs> Must have been. Must have been. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, Michael moved in after encouraging me to kick another roommate out and oh, essentially offering to help with that situation. Um, so he moved in. Uh, the pretense that he would be helpful. Um, after a few months, I realized that this is a huge mistake that I made on my part. Um, How I, so? I realized that Michael really wasn't working on any type of um, recovery of any program of any sort. Um, Michael did not have a regular job. Um, he you didn't know that before you moved him in? I was not aware that he wasn't working at all. <laughs> I thought that he was working many hours in the morning a day. Where? Uh, um, from home, selling ink and toner um, as a middleman type business through the suppliers and the companies. So when he moved in, he obviously brought in a bunch of equipment. Uh, brought in a laptop and a printer, sir. <laughs> okay, go ahead, man. So after moving in, I realized that things aren't exactly the way I thought they were. Um, I made a misjudgment. Uh, Michael, Michael seemed very lazy. He um, slept in late, um, which really threw my schedule off. Um, he stayed up very late playing video games um, into, like, we're talking the 2 and 3 o'clock hour of the morning. Um, so after a few months, we really started to argue, and we very, had very different ideas of what a routine and schedule should Was look like. Was he paying rent? No. Had you asked him to? No, I asked that he help with the bills and buy groceries. That's it? Yes. That's a good deal. <laughs> you got any more of those deals going around? Go right? ahead. How a man move in with you and don't have to pay rent, huh? Go ahead. Okay, so, yeah, so things got really bad. Uh, Michael and I um, broke up. He broke up with me in February of uh, <laughs> this year. <laughs> You're bigger sure food than I thought you were. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I know a lot of guys who want that deal. Yes, ma'am. What did he tell you he was breaking up for? Um, we had a difference of opinion on our lifestyles, so. Tell me. Um, Michael didn't agree with how much I spent time away from the home, pretty much. I uh, work out quite a bit. I'm gone for work, and I'm out You were quite never a bit. home. Never home, never That's why time. he had to play video games all the time. Because <laughs> you were never there. Let me hear from you, sir. It was pole dancing. It was all pole dancing. Um, I really... Who? Her. I'm Not sorry, me. Your Honor. This has nothing to really do with this lawsuit this in is, general. It what? was fitness. I go to fitness classes where I hula hoop and I happen to do some pole... Okay, it's aerobics. not a strip club, right? No. No, I... No. But <laughs> after the pole dancing was the exercise swing in the living room. You know, right, right where I slept, because we I'm no sorry, longer sir, slept in the. the fly quiet, gym. let him finish. We we slept in separate rooms. I slept in the in the oh, living so room. So she wasn't your girlfriend. I basically felt like a roommate the whole time. You know, I couldn't live up to her standards. Why did you all sleep in separate rooms? I just wasn't attractive anymore. When you moved in together, you all were sleeping in the same room for about a month. He was up all night. That's why we didn't sleep in the same room. I couldn't handle the noise. You, right. Then you were working out. Go ahead. I was taking, <laughs> I was taking care of my grandmother and uh, get a call from my mom about Facebook pictures that were posted of her in spandex on a pole. And I didn't think it was really, you know, I didn't want to be associated with that. Well, was she in an exercise class in those pictures? You can't really tell. It's just on a pole. Go ahead, ma'am. What do you want to tell me you're suing him for with these credit card okay. bills? Okay. Your Honor, I made an agreement with Michael that he could use my credit card every month to make purchases for his at-home business. And then when he got paid by his customers, he was to pay the card in full every month. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the card was never paid back down. I gave it to him with a zero balance. And when he left, the card had a balance Did he of ever pay you anything? He did make minimum payments. How much? Minimum? Uh, minimum, okay. minimal payments, mostly. Sir, what do you but say to this? There were payments that were much larger than minimum. Okay. Um, the card was actually handed to me on my couch, mm -hmm. and she specifically said, stop stressing out, use this for the business. Mm -hmm. That was it. We talked about it later, and, you know, I was just making payments here and there, you know, Why? every month. I'm sorry? Why were you making payments? To appease payments? her. Try and make her happy.
Don't go away. More of Judge Mathis is coming up. You don't think you owed money for the credit card that you used for your personal benefit? While I was there, yeah. Okay, the so business. are there some charges that uh, weren't for you that are on the credit card that she's suing you for? Yeah. Okay, you have the bill? I do have the most current statement, Your and Honor. You're and you're saying all of them are his? The only charge that's on the credit card that is myself was a Mary Kay charge, and I paid it in full the Yeah, same I don't month. see the actual charges, ma'am. And now you're telling me there was something on the card there that was. you charged. That a minute ago you told me they were all his charges. I paid mine in full that same as soon as it hit the account. No, but you said they were all his charges. You didn't say I paid mine in full when they hit the account. Okay, I misspoke then. I'm sorry. Um, including a vacation. Ma'am, is there a vacation on here? Um, there may be charges from a vacation in which he took me on. It was his choice. He didn't work. You knew he didn't work by then. Um, even without the vacation, Your Honor, it's still over $5,000. And the swing. Buffalo Wild Wings. Who's traffic court tickets? His. Sir? What's the amount? L.A. Superior Court. Oh, yeah, that's me. $400. Yeah. Mary Kay, $240. Royal Imaging. Who were those? That's the vendor that I use the card for. Royal Imaging, Royal Imaging, Royal Imaging, Royal Imaging. All right. Your counterclaim, sir, 1600 is for what? Property. How does she owe you for that? Um, she would never, she never responded for letting me pick it up after I'd moved uh, my belongings out. And what would she say? Um, I'm in a meeting. Pardon me? She would say, I'm in a meeting. Um, she was busy. We'll talk about it later. Um, you know, that ma'am. He did text me during a meeting in which I was at work, and I told him he needed to make another time for it. Like I was busy, he knew he was texting me during work hours. That was about the fourth text. That was only once. I, I don't recall how many times he ever texted me, but he never made arrangements and gave me a time that he wanted to come and pick up his stuff. He's welcome to come get it tonight. I offered to have somebody else pick it up. You only recall him asking one time. To come and get his things. One time, I remember him specifically directing it towards me for his All right, I don't believe that. I don't believe this man only asked you one time for his things. And what items are they, sir? Uh, television, uh, Nintendo gaming system. <laughs> now, you know, he, you know he asked you more than once for that. <laughs> For the video Your games, Honor. Doctor. Your Honor, he did That's take his the life, Xbox. by your own admission. That's his whole he life. He did take his Xbox with him, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he happily took that Xbox. I promise you I took you that. the Xbox. I play the Xbox more. <laughs> Let me have your list, sir. It was very similar to the last roommate of her television. Do you have his television, ma'am? Uh, yes, I do. Why he left it, and I haven't even moved it because I don't want to damage it. Where is it? It's in an office. Where did you leave it? In the office. Had she asked for her credit card payments during this time? After we had broken up, I was still making the payments. Um, Why? Because she would, she would text me with a minimum payment, right. and I would go make the and payment. And you knew you owed $5,000 for the plane. If he's finally admitting that he owes for the credit card. However, ma'am, I also think that you owe him for that um, property. So I'll give you 30 days. Uh, Ma'am, to give him his property. Okay. If he doesn't get his property in 30 days, then you'll be ordered to pay in the alternate $1,600 that he's suing you for. In the meantime, 5000 for the plaintiff. Have a good day. There's your credit card. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I really hope you have a happy life somewhere where you wait for me. I, I will be. Don't worry. <laughs> It's not pole dancing, it's pole fitness. Um, I just work out to tone and tighten my body, which I have lost over 35 pounds doing. I highly recommend it to any woman who is wanting to look for her confidence and looking to tone their body. I still feel I focus on the pain The only thing that's real the needle tears a hole The old familiar sting Trying to kill it all away But I remember everything
This Valentine's Day, size really does matter. So if you want to score big points with your Valentine, go big with the big hunk of love bear from Vermont Teddy Bear. This guy is a four and a half foot tall pile of awesomeness. He's big. He's soft. And let's face it, no girl can resist a teddy bear that's this adorable. The big hunk of love bear from Vermont Teddy Bear is no ordinary Valentine's present. It's thoughtful. It's romantic. It shows that you were thinking only of her in a big way. Think about it. Who wants to spend a lot of money on flowers that will die in days? Chocolates taste good for a few seconds, but then she's going to ask if she looks too fat. You don't want to go there. So, here's what you do. Go to VermontTeddyBear.com or call now and order your Valentine, the giant big hunk of love bear, for this special limited time offer of only $99. Vermont Teddy Bear has been making great Valentine's Day gifts for over 30 years, and every bear is guaranteed for life. They do it right every time. Get her this bear, and she'll think of you every time she sees it. And when you aren't around, her bear will be there to keep her company and to keep her thinking about you. This is the Valentine's Day gift where you simply can't lose. Go online or call now to get the big hunk of love bear from Vermont Teddy Bear for only $99. If you want the big reaction and the big reward, get her the big hunk of love bear from Vermont Teddy Bear. It's four and a half feet of teddy bear that is sure to make your valentine's day a winner go big and go home happy and get this your gift is guaranteed to be delivered in time for valentine's day call now to get the big hunk of love bear for only 99 dollars, or go to vermontteddybear.com to find the perfect valentine's day gift now and they've got everything vermont teddy bear has hundreds of other classic teddy bears so you're sure to find the gift that's perfect for your valentine it's a great gift for her it's sure to pay off for you. Now, we got a lot of things, a lot of racism going on in the world right now. Who's more racist, black people or white people? Black people. You know why? Because we hate black people, too. <laughs> Everything white people don't like about black people, black people really don't like about black people. There's some shit going on with black people right now. It's like a civil war going on with black people. And there's two sides. It's black people and there's niggas. And niggas have got to go. 
Every time black people want to have a good time, Indian ass niggas fuck it up. Can't do shit. Can't do shit without some Indian ass niggas fucking it up. Can't do nothing. Can't keep a disco open more than three weeks. Grand opening, grand closing. Can't go to a movie the first week and come out. Why? Because niggas are shooting at the screen. What kind of ignorant shit is that? Hey, that's a good movie. That's so good, I got to bust a cap in here. Hey, I love black people, but I hate niggas, bro. Oh, I hate niggas. Boy, I wish they let me join the Ku Klux Klan. Shit, I do a drive-by from here to Brooklyn. Tired of niggas, man. You can't have shit when you're around niggas. You can't have shit. You can't have no big screen TV. You can have it, but you better move it in at three in the morning. Painted white home niggas think it's a bassinet. Can't have shit in your house. Why? Because niggas will break in your house. Niggas will live next door to you, break in your house, and come over the next day and go, I heard you got robbed. Cause you was doing shit. <laughs> Damn, tired of niggas. Tired, 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 tired of niggas, man. Damn, man. You know what the worst thing about niggas? Niggas always want some credit for some shit they supposed to do. For some shit they just supposed to do. A nigga will brag about some shit a normal man just does. A nigga will say some shit like, "I take care of my kids." You supposedly a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> shit is that? I ain't never been to jail. What, you want a cookie? You're not supposed to go to jail, you low expectation ever, motherfucker. Fuck, oh, man, I'm tired of this shit. You know what the worst thing about niggas? The worst thing about niggas? Niggas love to not know. Nothing make a nigga happier than not knowing the answer to your question. Just ask a nigga a question. Any nigga. Hey, nigga, what's the capital of Zaire? I don't know that shit. <laughs> Keeping it real. <laughs> Niggas love to keep it real. Real dumb. <laughs> Niggas hate now. Shit. So, so, Niggas are breaking your house. You want to save your money? Put it in your books. Because <laughs> niggas don't read. Just put the money in the books. Shit, books are like kryptonite to a nigga. <laughs> There's a book. No! No! Not a book! No! No! Tired of this shit, man. Your kids can't fucking play nowhere. Every year the space gets smaller. Okay, you go from that corner to that corner. Oh, you go from that gate to that gate. By the time motherfuckers ten, he's just hopping in the circle like. <laughs> tired of this shit, man. Tired, tired, tired. Three, five, four, figure, boy. I hate a nigga. Boy, tired of this shit, man. Tired, man. Niggas just ignorant. Love being a singing about ignorance. I heard some song the other day. It's the first of the month. Niggas are singing welfare carols. <laughs> On the first day of welfare, my true luck gave to me. I wish you a merry welfare in a happy food stand. <laughs> the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Now they got some shit they're trying to get rid of welfare. No, every time you see welfare in the news, they always show black people. Black people don't give a fuck about welfare. <laughs> Niggas are shaking in their boots. <laughs> oh, they gonna take our shit. Shit, a black man that got two jobs, going to work every day, hates a nigga on welfare. Like, nigga, get a job. I got two, you can't get one. <laughs> But if you get fucked up and get laid off, they wouldn't hire another nigga for 10 years. Shit, a black woman that got two kids going to work every day, busting her ass, hates a bitch with nine kids getting a welfare check. Like, bitch, stop fucking. Stop fucking. Stop 
to make it look like, you know, there ain't even that many black people in the country, okay? Black people are 10% of the fucking population. Black people in New York, D.C., L.A., Chicago, Atlanta, like 10 places, okay? Okay? 10 places. Ain't no black people in Minnesota. So all you find, the only black people in Minnesota is Prince and Kirby Puckett, okay? Shit, the whole rest of the country, the other 40 states, is filled up with broke-ass white people. Broke-ass, living in a trailer home, eating mayonnaise sandwiches, fucking their sister, listening to John Cougar Mellencamp records. Shit, fuck out of here, man. And they need your help. Man, and I see some black people looking at me, man. Why you gotta say that? Why you gotta say that? It ain't us, it's the media. It ain't us, it's the media. The media has distorted our image to make us look bad. Why must you come down on us like that, brother? It ain't us, it's the media. Please cut the fucking shit, okay? Okay, okay. When I go to the money machine tonight, all right, I ain't looking over my back for the media, I'm looking for niggas. Ted Koppel ain't never took shit from me. <laughs> Niggas have. So you think I got three guns in my house because the media outside? <laughs> oh shit, Mike Wallace, run! <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. Tired of this shit. Tired, tired, tired of this shit. I was gonna steal a car, but I'm white. I was gonna steal it and drive real far, but I'm white. Now I gotta walk around and I know why. Yeah, cause I'm white, because I'm white, because I'm white. I was gonna break in your house, yeah. but I'm white. Come on, come on, yo. I was gonna take your TV and your couch, but I'm white. Da, 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 now I'm shopping da, da. at Ikea, and I know why. Why, man? Yeah, yeah, cause I'm white. Because I'm white. Yeah. Because I'm white. Da, 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 da. I was gonna run from the cops, yeah. but I'm white. Oh, uh. I was gonna run when they told me to stop, Damn. but I'm white. Yeah. Da, 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 now da, I got da, a jaywalking ticket, and oh, I know why. why man. Yeah, yeah, cause I'm white, because I'm white, because I'm white. I was gonna smoke some crack, but I'm white. Yeah. I was gonna throw my life off track, Damn. but I'm Ooh, white. Now I gotta go to college, what? and I know why. why man? Yeah, yeah, cause I'm white, because I'm white, because I'm white. <laughs> da, 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 da. I was gonna shoot some thugs, Bam. but I'm white. What's up? Sucker? I was gonna kill them and take their drugs, Sweet. but I'm white. Now I'm paying for their food stamps, oh, and I know why. Yeah, yeah, cause I'm white. Because I'm white, because I'm white. Da, 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 da. I was gonna drink some Sprite, but I'm white. That's some good shit, yeah. man. It's good. A little more liquor would've also been tight, oh, hell yeah. but I'm white. Yeah, 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 da, 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 
Now I'm sipping mocha latte Some soy on the side Yeah, yeah, cause I'm white Because I'm white Because I'm white I was gonna rob a bank But I'm white Was gonna take the money bag and say thanks But I'm white Now I gotta work on Wall Street And I know why Because I'm white, because I'm white. I got me a real good life, because I'm white. I got me a house, dog, kids, and wife, because I'm white. I could retire when I'm 40, and I know why. Because I'm white, because I'm white, because I'm white. This song of mine, cause I'm white. I'm white, yeah. They're gonna call me racist online, cause I'm white. And if a black guy beats my ass up, I know why. Yeah, cause I'm white, because I'm white, because I'm white. Yo, man, you try that new Greek yogurt? Oh, yeah. Good shit, organic shit, man. It's a good shit, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to invite over them new neighbors, man. Oh, no. Give them some kale chips. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Man. That non-dairy, non-fat oh, skim. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. I just got that new Prius, man. You oh, see that shit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just at the proctologist, dog. No. Yeah. What? What's that? That's a doctor. Oh, for your asshole. Oh, I've been paying into my 401k. Oh, Yo, yeah. paying my taxes and Yo, shit. So. Fucking IRS got me out on it. You catch them CMAs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got this new washing machine, too. Shh. You're listening to Top Secret Sound. Don't tell anybody. came from blog talk like you were already number one but you're on Spreaker now so you'll have to wait in line the stupid nonsense will have to stop you only have one eye on the ball my friends I'm afraid that it's all your fault and all the hosts wish that they were all famous. They were all famous. You're so lame. You probably think the show is about you. You're so lame. You're so lame. I bet you think this song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? Now I was on ball talk years ago. I first played DJ, but then it came pretty clear that I should just leave, and what happened next you won't believe, then you followed me to Spreaker.com, and now I finally see that you are all just mentally retarded, mentally retarded. So lame. You probably think the show is about you. You're so lame. I bet you think this song is about.